Uh, okay. Hello! Welcome to fighting, I guess. Ha! Well, that was unexpected. Okay then! So, so, here's the thing. Here's what just happened. We have encounter half on. We want that to be encounter nine. Because we're chasing that flying saucer down. That is way too strange. It demands investigation. So, let's investigate. Wow. Uh, hmm. That was quite fast. We didn't encounter none on, right? Is that a Moe statue? Stranger and stranger. Well, there's only one place they could go with a Moe statue. To Sendra! To Sentra! Can I? Oh, okay. Hmm. A pyramid. But we're already in the desert. What could a fly saucer possibly want with a pyramid? Hmm. Pyramid. Sand. Of course! Sand in Europe. Sn the sand of the Sierra Desert actually go enters mixes with the snow and turns it a peculiar color. It must be in Trelbia! Uh... This way. Maybe it's down there, actually. Wait, wait. No, maybe I'm taking this too literally. <laughs> hmm. Strange. But... If it's not in Trelbia, then where could it be? Mm. Okay, actually, like the get. I love what I've done with the gag here, but I generally cannot find it. No. <laughs> I know it's in East Tralvia, okay? Okay? Also, I didn't elaborate, but hey, we're doing this. We are hunting down the flying saucer. We're doing this side quest, and it's, it's fun. It's interesting. We'll, we'll get it done within an episode. Easily enough. Assuming I can actually find the damn thing. Uh...
I do feel like it should be down there. But we are getting nothing. Okay, yeah, no, this is the right place. Maybe we're just getting unlucky on the spin. I do have Encounter Known, but that's how it should be, because it does not count as a regular encounter, even though it uses the same animation as one. Uh, and it should be on the Health Peninsula, which is where we are. so fast the first few times, too. Man. That's unfortunate. Nope, that's Thor. No, it should be out here. somewhere. How strange. Also, I generally don't know how you're intended to find this, because I cannot... I could maybe see running into the the windhill one on accident, and maybe the timber one after that, but... The other ones are, like, so obscure, I cannot possibly see it finding them on accident. You would need something to tell you. Uh... And I don't think... Well, hmm. Maybe an old occult fan does. That's sort of what they're for. They tell you about side quests. Uh... This is just sort of a whole lot of nothing. Oh, well, I've been paid. Okay, uh, just a, just, just a sec. Okay, okay, I've got it, because I looked it up. And, yeah, I'm glad I looked this up, because this is a little bit bullshit. And I certainly didn't remember this. I've done this side quest before, but not in years. So here's the thing. Only on this island does it show up, which seems needlessly specific. Whatever. We found the flying saucer! And what the heck is that thing? Why, something is strange in that. There's only one possible thing it could be doing with it. We must go! To Esthar! Or at least Northern Esthar. Um, I think this is right. Hmm. Now, worth mentioning, I don't know whether I need to take off Encounter None for this part. <laughs> Uh, Grandidi Forest. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the, uh, I think this is the right plateau. Oh yeah, we found it! It's up close this time. Demi. Hmm. Uh, 
Academy is a pretty good jumping magic. Why don't we just, uh, stock up on Demi? Also, while it's on my mind, I need to make sure that I have enough of a certain item. But, uh, we'll worry about that after I finish drawing Demi. You know, to complete my collection of matches that I'll probably never use. That seems to be how this goes. So I've neglected to keep count of my progress here, but I'm getting 9 each time, so I should only need to draw 11 times a piece. Wait, 12 times a piece, actually. You know, it has done absolutely nothing to me while I have been drawn from it. Maybe it's friendly. Maybe it just wants me to have a whole lot of gravity magic. Wouldn't that be something? To a friendly little flying saucer with a weird little antenna at the top, with a... with a habit of abducting... monuments. Hmm. Maybe we can work on that last part. I mean, I said friendly, but I suppose it can be friendly and also have a bit of sticky fingers, so to speak. Oh, looks like we are done. Uh. I'm sorry! Sweat drop. <laughs> Got a good thing though. And, uh, oh. Ha. Huh. One, one second. I, I actually don't have enough of the item that I need. Perhaps I can make them? Mega Potion, Mega Phoenix, Mega Elixir. Uh, hmm. Let's see. A status magic. I need a uh, recovery med. Mega Potion, Mega Potion, High Potion, Phoenix down. High Potion, Phoenix Down, Mega Potion... Hmm... Well, this is... this is problematic. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen! Okay, uh... I'm gonna need to look this up. I'll be back in a minute. Once I figure out what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay, so apparently, surprising to me, uh, no, that's the wrong one. It is not for sale here. Hmm. Unless it was like here? 
No, clearly not. Bookstore? That would be weird. Nope. Uh, it was suggested to me that I might be able to refine it, though. Probably with this. Let's make a... wait. I already have a Remedy Plus? Wait a second... Oh, no, no. Med. Oh! Yeah, I need elixirs. So, um... I guess I'll just, uh... Hmm. Definitely feeling the whoopsie on this one. But, I can do this, and then I can make an elixir. I only need five. I need precisely five. I actually want six, just, ju ju just in case. Fortunately, I am rolling in money. So, uh, we will uh, make a couple more of those. One more of these, just just to have a spare. And uh we should be good. We should be good. Okay. Now let's let's go uh let's go find that crash saucer. I can only think of two or three places where there is a sufficiently sized critter. So uh let's start at the beginning and work our way from there. Oh, that is so cute! <laughs> Elixir, please! It has scribbles for eyes! That is too precious. Now, uh, worth saying, we could, uh, I know! We could actually attack this adorable alien, you monster, and, and we would get an accelerator, which is the an item that lets you teach the GF the auto haste ability, which I mean is pretty good. But could you really hurt such an adorable creature? No, no, you you only a monster would do such a thing. Also, achievement get. Plus, we get a card this way. Uh, no, not a GF. Let's see... A truly one-of-a-kind card. I don't remember what this turns into, but uh, we're, we're, we're not card modding it. <laughs> A hungry cook pot. I actually have lots of those because I've been doing the Chocobo World minigame, like a lot. Which is where I have a lot of this crap from, you know? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another go through of all this stuff at some point to teach my GFs more abilities. But I'm not gonna do that until I get until I have all of the GFs. Then I will know what is missing, if nothing else. Hmm. Uh, I will probably go through everything to make sure that I- oh yeah, I'll probably use this stuff as well, but uh, I would- hmm. I don't know what will happen if I use this now that I already have Diablo. Uh, 
how was this thing, though? Something, something... Right! I'll make sure I have all the really good spells after that, then as well. Like the... The, uh... The flares and... Ultimas and what have you. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Um... We could leave off here, but... I have another thing to do that will just take a min... You know what? No. I've changed my mind. We will stop off here. Join me next time when we move on to the next side quest. Uh, this will be a bigger one. Just, just so you know. Be prepared for it! Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!